Hello everyone, this is Chris Way of CricketUsers.com and the US Tech Channel. I have the HTC Droid DNA on Verizon here. And what I'm trying to do is flash a kernel that will allow me to uh, modify some files in the system because the stock uh, kernel won't. It'll pretty much uh, revert back uh, the build prop as soon as I reboot. Of course, I'm pretty much a novice and that's why I do these videos so you can see how this is done from a novice's uh, standpoint. I've downloaded one of the kernels from DSB9938 at XDA. Uh, pretty much I'm using the stock one that allows you to uh, do some stuff in the uh, stock uh, area of the device's uh, storage. Uh, the system folder, I mean. Alright, so it does note here this kernel does remove some stock files. I went ahead and I downloaded the uh, stock kernel so I'll be able to revert back to stock if I need to and I've downloaded the kernel files uh, right here it comes with a boot image and this one which will be flashed uh, using the recovery so I've placed this in a directory on the device that I can access from the recovery I'm going to go ahead and take this boot uh, image right here I'm going to go to my ADB folder I'm going to go ahead and paste it in there so it'll be easy to uh, flash that over. Uh, of course this device is rooted already with super user uh, installed and uh, the bootloader is unlocked. Alright, I was being kind of silly there. I started I completely missed a step. What you want to do first is ADB reboot uh, bootloader. So you got to have those fast boot uh, drivers installed. Uh, your device should be recognized when you boot up into the fast boot uh, mode. Uh, I actually had to use a different computer, this Windows 8 computer for some reason when recognized the device. I ran to my Windows 7 machine, got in there, and then I typed the fast boot flash boot boot.img. Uh, it sent it to it. I rebooted again. Uh, now I'm just going to do ADB reboot uh, recovery. This new ROM that you saw in there could also go directly uh, into it. Uh, volume down plus power should also allow you to get into a location where you can get into your recovery as well. So now let's go install zip from SD card. Place it in download. And here we have the cubed uh, stock system write modules that zip. I go ahead and select that. Volume up until I get to yes. Power button select. Okay, install from SD card complete. I'll go ahead and go back and reboot system now. And once it boots up, it should be uh, using this new kernel. So that's how you install a kernel onto your Droid DNA uh, by HTC uh, Ryan on Verizon. Please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks a lot.